Okay, we're going to do our first test run here. We're going to start with the 4-inch PVC pipe, which will be our control velocity. Uh, that should be the straight drop due to gravity. And uh, Dwayne's up there right now. What's uh, what's the height on that water up there now? Eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches of water up in the, in the tank up there. We're just going to let her go. Okay, we're looking down from the top on our control pipe, and that was really swirling quite good when when we did our test. There's the water coming in through there. We're gonna fill it fill it back up. We did three test runs, and it got less and less velocity as the water level went down by from eight and a half inches to five inches, five and a half inches. So we don't have a consistent test run. So we're gonna go fill it back up to eight and a half inches and uh, do another test and see if we're back to the velocity of the first one. And uh, that means it's, uh, the velocity on the pipe is quite, in, quite dependent on the depth of water on top of the pipe and how it swirls there. I thought we were going to have a straight run down. I might have to get a couple more elbows and stick on top so the water's straight in the pipe and down or something instead of letting it swirl like that. So. Okay. Okay, we're testing uh, down the 20 degree outside trough there. Uh, first test uh, showed that the water was dramatically running around the outside of the tube and uh, I was having trouble getting uh, the velocity meter inside a full force of water to get a reading. So, so we thought we'd take some videos of it this time just to show you. Go! Yeah. Oh. So here it comes. Can you see the water is all on the outside there? Another half an inch, an inch thick. 